Have you ever wondered how many languages a person can learn and speak at most? Or pondered over what happens to your brain when you learn a new language? Welcome to the fascinating journey of language learning, a journey that reveals the limitless potential of the human brain. The brain, our most complex organ, is not a static entity. It possesses a remarkable property known as plasticity, which allows it to change and adapt. When you learn a new language, your brain undergoes significant changes, with new neural connections being formed and existing ones being strengthened. According to research by the University of Washington, learning a language enhances our brain's flexibility and cognitive functions. The study found that the brain structures of bilingual individuals differ from those of monolinguals, reflecting the brain's plasticity. Another study from the University of Edinburgh shows that bilingualism can improve memory and multitasking abilities. The researchers found that bilingual individuals performed better on tasks that required them to switch attention between different tasks, a cognitive ability known as task switching. Furthermore, there's no age limit to learning a new language. While it's true that children have a natural advantage in pronunciation and acquisition, adults can learn effectively with the right techniques. A study from the University of Haifa shows that adults who learn a new language can achieve similar brain functionality as a native speaker. Interestingly, there's no hard limit to the number of languages one can learn. There are documented cases of polyglots who have managed to learn and speak more than 50 languages. This suggests that our brains have an incredible capacity for language learning, a capacity that we are only beginning to understand. The brain, it turns out, has an incredible capacity for language learning, no matter your age. What are the best ways to learn a new language? And how long does it take to become proficient? Let's dive right in. An effective language learning strategy starts with consistency. Regular, daily practice trumps sporadic, intense sessions. Just like working out at the gym, language learning is a marathon, not a sprint. Now, let's talk about immersion. Surrounding yourself with the language you're learning is a key technique. This immersion can be achieved through various media such as movies, music, and books in the target language. You can also engage in conversations with native speakers, either in person or through language exchange platforms. These practices help you to absorb the language naturally and intuitively. In the digital age, we have a plethora of tools at our disposal. Apps like Duolingo, Babbel, and Rosetta Stone offer structured learning paths, while websites like HelloTalk facilitate language exchanges. Online resources like word reference and traditional dictionaries remain invaluable for understanding the nuances of vocabulary. So, how long does it take to become proficient? Well, it depends. Proficiency depends on the language's complexity relative to the learner's native language. For English speakers, languages like Spanish, Dutch, and Norwegian are considered easier, and you might achieve proficiency within six months to a year with dedicated practice. On the other hand, Languages like Mandarin, Arabic, and Japanese pose more significant challenges due to complex writing systems and grammar, and it may take several years to reach a similar level of proficiency. Remember that around 2 to 3,000 words are often enough for conversational fluency, while advanced proficiency might require 8 to 10,000 words. So, don't be daunted by the task ahead. Every word you learn is a step towards your goal. Remember, every language learning journey is unique and the most crucial factor is your commitment. Whether you're learning your second language or your seventh, the key is to stay consistent, immerse yourself, and make good use of the tools available. Happy language learning. Did you know that learning a new language can sharpen your cognitive skills and even help prevent Alzheimer's? The act of learning a new language isn't just about memorizing vocabulary and grammar rules. It's a holistic exercise that engages various parts of your brain, leading to several cognitive benefits. For instance, bilingualism can enhance your memory. Juggling between two or more languages keeps your brain active, improving its ability to store and recall information. But that's not all. Multitasking abilities also see a significant boost. The constant switching between languages trains your brain to handle multiple tasks simultaneously. Learning a new language is like a gym workout for your brain, flexing and strengthening your cognitive muscles. Now, let's delve into a more serious aspect. Alzheimer's prevention. Alzheimer's disease is a devastating condition that affects millions worldwide. Research, however, suggests that bilingualism might help delay its onset. A study published in the journal, Neurology, found that bilingual patients developed Alzheimer's, on average, four to five years later than monolingual patients. 
The theory is that the mental challenge of managing multiple languages builds up a cognitive reserve, making the brain more resilient. In another study by York University in Toronto, bilingual individuals were observed to have delayed symptoms of dementia by up to five years compared to monolingual individuals. This cognitive reserve, built up by the constant mental gymnastics of switching between languages, seems to provide the brain with protection against Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. So, what does all this mean for you? Well, aside from the obvious benefits of being able to communicate in another language, learning a new language can serve as a form of mental training, enhancing your cognitive abilities and potentially delaying the onset of certain neurodegenerative diseases. So, learning a new language not only opens up new worlds of communication but also keeps your brain healthy. Is there an ideal age to learn a new language? And does being left-handed or right-handed affect your language learning journey? You may have heard that children are naturally better at acquiring languages, and to some extent, that's true. The young brain is highly flexible and adaptable, making kids particularly good at picking up pronunciation and grammar rules. This flexibility is why many experts recommend introducing languages early. But does that mean adults are at a disadvantage? Absolutely not. In fact, adults often bring valuable skills to the table that children haven't yet developed, such as sophisticated problem-solving abilities and a deeper understanding of abstract concepts. So, while starting early can lead to higher proficiency, there's no age limit to language learning. If you're passionate and persistent, you can succeed at any age. Now, let's talk about handedness. We know the brain is a complex organ with different areas controlling different functions. In most right-handed individuals, the left hemisphere of the brain, which is responsible for tasks such as language processing, is dominant. Conversely, in left-handed individuals, either the right hemisphere is dominant or both hemispheres share the load more equally. Some studies suggest that this difference in brain processing could affect how we learn languages. However, the research is not conclusive, and more studies are needed to fully understand the impact of handedness on language learning. So, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, don't let it deter you from embarking on your language learning journey. In conclusion, age and handedness are interesting factors to consider in language learning, but they're not determinants of success. The keys to effective language learning are regular practice, engagement with native speakers, and exposure to the language in different contexts. And remember, no matter your age or which hand you write with, you have unique strengths to bring to the table. Whether you're young or old, left-handed or right-handed, language learning is a rewarding journey for everyone. How many words do you need to learn to be proficient in a language? And can reading books or learning math help with language acquisition? These are questions that often pop up when you're on the path towards mastering a new language. When it comes to word count, it's estimated that around 2,000 to 3,000 words are usually enough for conversational fluency. That's the sweet spot where you can comfortably navigate everyday dialogues. But if you're aiming for advanced proficiency, you might need to ramp up your word bank. You're looking at somewhere between 8,000 to 10,000 words. That's a lot, but remember, it's not a race, it's a journey. Every new word you learn is a step closer to your goal. Now, let's talk about reading. Reading books in your target language can be a game changer. It doesn't just boost your vocabulary, but also improves comprehension. It's like a two-for-one deal. You get to enjoy a good story, and your language skills get a nice workout. So, whether it's a novel, a newspaper, or a comic book, reading can be a powerful tool in your language learning arsenal. And what about math? Well, it's not directly related to language learning, but hear me out. Learning a new language can enhance your cognitive skills, including problem-solving and logical thinking. These skills are also crucial for understanding mathematical concepts. So, in a roundabout way, becoming multilingual might just make you a math whiz too. So, whether you're aiming for conversational fluency or mastering a language, remember that every word learned is a step towards your goal. It might seem like a steep mountain to climb, but with the right tools and persistence, you'll reach the summit in no time. And remember, the view from the top is always worth the climb.